Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, it's been a while since I put out a, a video, but uh, um, we're encouraged because we're putting the business back together, and it's, uh, it's a long way to go, but we can see a uh, bright light at the, end of the, at the end of the tunnel. So um, things are good here. I mean, they could be better, but they're, they're going along all right. All right, well... I got a report on this because I got a letter from my buddy Keith Cray down at the DNR. This is kind of interesting. There's another one. All right. Low battery. Okay, well, I'll dismiss that. Dismiss. All right, uh, you may be wondering why is the director of the Department of Natural Resources corresponding directly with me now? Well, here's just a little tip. Um, I do not have a lawyer retained right now. Um, not able to do that at this time. And so instead of the Department of Natural Resources talking to the Attorney General and then the Attorney General talking to his two, three little minions, Harry Martin types, and then them talking to my lawyer and my lawyer talking to me, they have to talk directly to me, which is pretty cool. So, you know, we can, we can get our message across to them what they're doing that's, that's incorrect. Um, what this letter has to do with is we demanded a declaratory ruling from them. You remember the old declaratory ruling, straight tails, curly tails, that was rescinded. The reason for that was we wanted them to have to explain their invasive species order that claims that feral pigs are illegal. I mean, that feral pigs illegal, why are you talking to me about that? Talk to Mother Nature about that because once they're feral, you, you can't... You can't get anybody by the neck and say, Put, quit with the feral pigs, you know, because they're out and not in anybody's possession. So that's, that was the reason for demanding a, uh, a declaratory ruling. Uh, we're, we're saying to the DNR, how are you going to apply this? I mean, we know you're pointing at us as, as hog producers, but how are you going to apply it? And we have the right to know because, you know, um, you get a couple of conservation officers come up the driveway and they say, we're here for an invasive species check. Okay, what's the criteria here? I mean, we as, as citizens of this country, we have a right to know if, if you guys have dreamt something up, we need to know what it's all about. So we demanded another declaratory ruling from them. How are you going to apply the invasive species order? And uh, I got this letter from Keith, and basically he says, um, we're not going to give you one because we say so. I could read it, but it's a bunch of mumbo-jumbo, and it's, it's kind of meant to confuse us peasants out here. So it's problematic. It, it really is because we're right back at square one where an unelected department has made a, has dreamt up an order. Um, they're accountable to only the governor. Uh, they are not accountable to us, we the citizens, we the people. And this order says that uh, feral pigs, uh, Russian boars, um, old world swine, uh, there's several other monikers that they have in there, are illegal. $10,000 fine if you have them, and then we'll take your firstborn. And we're trying to get out of them. All right, what's an old world swine? We don't even know what that is. Are they going to come up here and say, ooh, mangalitsa pigs? That's an old world swine. Old world, maybe? Is old world like before Columbus? Or, you know, and we want them to have to put in writing what they mean by old world swine. It's not in the dictionary. What do you mean by that, DNR? And they've said, we're not going to, we're not going to do it. This time we're just not going to do it. So we're back at square one, and we're, what bothered us when this began was the DNR is saying uh, certain pigs are illegal and we'll know them when we see them. So we're right back to, well, when you have pigs born, send us a picture of, you, of them and we'll let you know if we can keep them. And that's not how our country works and that's why we called them on this. But, uh, you know, we're back at square one. The declaratory ruling has been rescinded, the old one. It's been thrown out of court for being unconstitutional. Uh, it was dismissed in court 10 days prior to them having to explain it in a court of law. And uh, now they've just 
started at square one again and they figure we're totally out of money so there's no way that we can proceed with this now um, I don't know ideas from you all out there uh, we ran this one to ground one time I suppose we could do it again but it was a lot of money to do it and I'm tired of asking for money and uh, I really need to make a living for me and my family and support my kids and uh, this cost us everything, this battle cost us everything. So I think I'm going to step back for a little while. Uh, I'm still here. You can still contact me. Uh, but I think we're just going to take a break for a little while. We're going to have to because we, we need to rebuild our operation here. Boy, you can hear it's raining. That's why I'm taking a break. But all is well here at Baker Screen Acres. I thank you all for the help. And uh, thanks for the camaraderie along the way. It ain't over until it's over. Hey, this is Mark from Bacon's Green Acres. I'm going to sign off for a little while. I'll be talking back at you, but hopefully about better things, uh, farm things. Anyone can farm things.